and the Lynx. Well, I caught up with her a couple of weeks ago in this team talk brought to you by Chemist Warehouse. What was Perth like living in there for a season? It's great. I really love it over there. You know, being able to watch the sunsets on, on the coast is quite nice. Um, but no, I have some friends and a little bit of family over there, so really liking my time there. Is that how you chill to end a day? Just go head, head to a beach, which is pretty accessible to get to compared to a Very Sydney? Very easy. Yeah. You know, I know. You can just kind of roll into a car park and find a park and just kind of watch the sunset. So no, um, that ease of getting around and ease of going to a beach or a shopping centre or cafes um, is quite nice. You know, I love Sydney, but just that ease, it kind of reminds me a bit of home in, in Newcastle on the West Coast, so it's quite nice. Was that a nice change up for you personally at this time of your career as well, just to not be in, still in the city, but not in the hustle and bustle in your face city all the time? Yeah, I think so. I think I was just at a point where I needed a bit of a change. Um, you know, it's easy to stay in your comfort bubble and I think Sydney was a bit of that for me in that I'd been there for a little while and my family's quite close and I was very comfortable in, in that system and that program. But getting to Perth, it's really kind of put me out of that and, and from that you hope to grow as a person and a player. So, you know, I'm hoping to, to do that with the Opals and then, and then again with the, the Perth Lynx this year. So what did you learn about yourself in your first season at, at Perth? I think uh, that I'm very hard on myself. Um, so I'm just trying to, to get better at that. And I think, you know, there's just other things besides basketball going on. You know, I need to get better at making basketball um, not my direct world. So just having a bit more balance. And I think I'm going to have that a bit more this year, be a bit more settled. So yeah, really looking forward to this season. How hard is it to take yourself out of the basketball bubble when you're so focused on it? It's hard when it's your life, yeah, um, when it's your job and, and, and something you're, yeah, you're literally paid to do. But I think in order to be good on the court, you need to be balanced off court. And so um, I've had that in the past where I've had a bit of study and, and some other things going on. So not having that at the moment, I've just had to find something else to kind of to put a focus toward. And, and I think that's really going to help me on court with the links. So um, yeah, it's just all about that balance. So what have you focused on off the court? I think just, you know, uh, finding other things to do, other hobbies, um, a bit of meditation, some mindfulness, things like that. So just some strategies, um, but I think, you know, making friends and, and, and having a bit of family over there and some other things and places to go and see people um, is helpful as well, rather than being a little bit, yeah, isolated and things like that. So during the off season, you stayed primarily in Perth and that was a, a decision that you strategically made? No, so I was back in Sydney, okay. um, but I'm staying this coming off season. So we're gonna stay over there for a good 12 months, which will be nice yep. and um, decided to just, yeah, make that choice and be a bit more settled and, and have a home for 12 months, which will be really nice. You came from Sydney as well and was sort of, it was, I suppose, an expectation, certainly externally, that to be a leader straight away as part of a, a new roster. That, was that a new challenge for you and how do you, how do you think you went in that capacity? Um, I think, you know, I went pretty well with it. Um, it's always a process when you're coming into a new group. You know, there were some um, some people that have been there for quite a while in Tony Farnworth and, and Kayla Steindl. So, you know, and they're great leaders in their right as well. So it was just about coming in and kind of um, getting used to their system and how they want to play and then being able to offer up um, my leadership style, which is more so just in the way I like to play and kind of lead from the front in that in that way. So um, that was it for me. I wasn't trying to come in and, and do anything extraordinary. It was just kind of coming in and, and contributing where I could, especially in that leadership type style. She's a totally different player in this season, Carly, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, she is, and she's a star for us in yep. the Opals. But the star for us in maybe the three-on-three three is Beck Cole. You caught yes. up with her earlier in the week. Yes, I did. Beck Cole and Gary Cole. There's an article on foxsports.com.au, and they open up about their life. They've had a lot of adversity they've had to go on through. There's two rules they have. Rule number one, life's not fair. Rule number two, refer to rule number one. That's their motto, uh, and they, they're fantastic people. So check it out at foxsports.com.au slash basketball. Coming up after this, though, we've got second half action. The Perth Lynx and the Canberra Capitals. It's the Caps by six. Can the Lynx come back? We'll find out right after this. I love in a heart box. Hide the key so we don't get lost. I'm 